Okay, so today is March 19th. It's 35 degrees out here. Very, very cold. Very windy. But I found some cool things here in the front flower bed. And I wanted to make a really quick video. Um, check out the daffodils. These are all spent. They bloomed. They were so beautiful when they bloomed. Um, we have some pansies here. These are the Black King pansies. I planted these from seed last year. These are from Baker Creek. There's another bloom. And another little patch right here. These actually came back. I still can't get over it. Apparently, uh, it's normal for pansies to come back, but I didn't know that. And then we have a bunch of grape hyacinth. I did not plant this. This just comes comes up naturally around here in West Virginia. I think it's really beautiful. My husband hates it, but I love it. <laughs> and then we have a little rose bush. This was a little dollar rose uh, plant that I got at Lowe's a couple years ago. Um, everybody told me that it's just something you set on your table and you're supposed to throw it away. Uh, it would never come back if you put it in the ground, but I did. And it comes back every year and it makes me smile <laughs> because I don't listen to anyone and yeah just when it comes to gardening just try things you'll always be surprised what you find and then we have cone, my cone flower that's coming back you can see some new growth on that which I'm so happy about um, I got that from the nursery last year it's a hybrid it's a really really bright pink really beautiful my favorite favorite color of coneflower like really orangey bright like sunset pink really really gorgeous I have my little signs there the daylilies are coming back and then here are some more daffodils so there's a daffodil plant there's a daffodil in the corner so i actually learned something else from garden answer love her videos always learn something new um, if you want to deadhead your daffodils, go ahead, but leave the green foliage because that is where they get energy from the sunlight to be able to have enough energy for the next year to bloom. So deadhead them, but leave the foliage there. And then here's the rose bush. I did some trimming on that, tried to round it off. And there's the pile that I need to clean up, but I don't want to touch it because it's got tons of thorns on it. There's a plant, and there's a plant. I have no clue what they are. Um, a friend gave them to me the year before last. They had already bloomed, or already did what they were supposed to do. And by the time I got them, they were just uh, pretty much dying off. But I planted them anyway, and I asked him what they were. He had no clue. He just said he did not like them and to take them. <laughs> but the way that he described the flower that they make was like a flower with one stem and one flower that comes at the top of the stem. And I was thinking to myself, well, the only thing that I could imagine in my mind that would look like that would be like some sort of resurrection lily or some type of lily like that. So I got out my Google lens and just took a picture of the foliage there and apparently it is some type of lily so we'll see but yeah i just stuck them in the ground no clue what they were but i knew it would be a nice surprise so one of the crazy things that i found out here when i was trimming my rose bush so if you can see that right there that little mass right there on the branch I believe that is a praying mantis um, egg casing. Um, there is a praying mantis that lives on my hibiscus. This is my dinner, dinner plate hibiscus right here. Every year, there's a big giant praying mantis that lives on that. And so that would make sense for this to be a mantis egg. I don't know if it has already hatched or when it's supposed to hatch like what season they come out um but that would be awesome to have a bunch of little praying mantis babies in my garden i've heard they do really great things and take care of your plants really well so i hope that's what that is i've been coming out 
and checking on it. Um, my luck, it, it's probably like three years old, but <laughs> I'm still excited about it. So there's another one of the mystery plants. This is the hibiscus. It looks dead and terrible, but it will put on new growth. This has been here for about three, three or four years. Um, so the other thing that I noticed while I was out here, I just thought it was absolutely crazy. So the year before last, in 2021, it was the end of summer, and I had a bunch of gladiolus bulbs that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I just stuck them in the ground. I knew they weren't going to have enough time because it was like fall. I knew they weren't going to bloom or anything, but I just stuck them in the ground with no expectation of anything at all. So last year they came back, which I couldn't believe because gladiolus are supposed to be annuals where I live. You're supposed to dig up the bulbs, store them inside like dahlias and ranunculus. But this guy came back last year and bloomed. And I just noticed while I was out here, it's coming back again. And not only that, but look at the size of this bulb this thing is huge don't know what these are if these are some kind of bulb they look like it they have the paper on them i don't know but this thing is huge you know when you buy gladiolus bulbs from the dollar tree they're like not much bigger than like a quarter so i cannot believe I mean, look at that. That thing is huge. And there was another one. I thought it was a mushroom. <laughs> but it is a bulb. Here's another one that I planted last year. And you can see, look at this bulb. So that thing right there, that whole thing. And it's coming back too. Awesome. So happy about that. I cannot believe how big those bulbs are because they are so tiny when you buy them but that would make sense given that this this will be its third year here um but yeah i thought that was crazy and then last year i must have thrown an elephant ear bulb over there in the corner because it came back <laughs> we were walking out here um to our cars one day and my husband said oh my gosh there's an elephant ear over there right here in the corner i couldn't believe it yep it came back so the sun hits this part of the flower bread this is the front of my house the sun hits this all day long i mean and it is hot that's the window that i had my uh, flower ceilings in and even in that room right there i mean it gets hot so i think that the sun just warms up this bed so much because it hits it all day that this stuff just stays warm here and that's why it comes back but so exciting and i'll do another update when everything is a little bit more green and if we get any more buds or if those guys decide to bloom whatever the mystery flower is probably a lily but we'll see i'll do another update